Welcome back to Kenny's shop. Today we have 2012 Honda Odyssey V6. Uh, it's a same engine for uh, uh, Honda, uh, Richline, Honda Pilot, same thing. This vehicle came in for check engine light, P3400. And this is for the rocker arm oil pressure switch. So first of all, for this vehicle, when you get any problem like this, you check the oil. So make sure, make sure the oil is clean, the oil is full. So this one, we already changed the oil. The oil is good, okay? Uh, basically, if you have a bad oil or low oil, or you don't change the oil on time, you have problem with this coat, okay? So right now, uh, to fix this problem, you need 24 millimeter socket, okay? And the flat is screwdriver. Okay, so remove the cover. Okay, already, you just, when you scan it, you get the coat. So this is a, I wrote it down to explain to everybody you can fix your own car in the driveway. So my code is P3400. This is for the rear, right here. That's where I'm located, right here. See this harness, move the harness. This one, okay. All right, and the front one, I don't have the code, but the code is for the front, P3497 for the front. It's right here, same thing, I move it, this wire. You just squeeze it here, like this, you move it out, okay? And just to be safe, take the dipstick out. Uh, so right now, I'm gonna remove this, okay? So here's my socket. You're gonna go ahead. Just loose already. Okay, so the reason here, you see this, when the oil dirty this little hole okay and shut down this pressure switch and there's no more signal to the ecm and the ecm go crazy say oh this car have no oil and skipping like a bad engine okay so this is one uh you see this come the o-rings just leave the o-ring here so i buy this this one of them this is a front this is from the dealer, okay? It's like uh, like almost $86 for both, if you have account. So this is a part number. It's the same part number. Back, front and back, okay? That's what it look like. Even I put the part number back down here. So, any on the V6, the same issue. It's almost like you feel your engine gone, you know? It's so bad when, uh, you see this, this is a new one? You just put it by hand, gentle, make sure you put it straight. It's, the, the spot is tough, but it's a little bit, you know. This tool is strong, but just go like a little tight, you see? Okay, so, so you, you can, and like, like not, not even 50 degrees, so. That's it. Okay. And see this here? She's push it. Click. Okay. We're gonna do the, the rear one. This is the front. I recommend any anytime you have a problem with this or you forgot you change your oil, you have this issue, change both of them. Front, rocker arm, pressure switch, oil pressure switch, and the rear one right here. So right now my problem is only with the rear one, but I want to do both, okay? I want, I want to avoid avoid all the problems. I don't, want to, I don't want to have any more problems, so for the customer to come back. So it's simple. We need two kind of tools. So this is the harness, you just push it. Basically, you, you squeeze the harness and it come out. Get out of your way. Let's uh -huh. nice here. Losing it. Okay. 
you can fix uh, expensive repair for less than 100 bucks. I don't want to chop it off. Okay, this one tight spot is the open. Okay, so here, okay. this is the new one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, this is the new one. You take this cover out. Okay, again, you're gonna go very gently. So, this is the new one. Gonna put the new one in, tie it by hand all the way, and then then you just hang tight like like it's aluminum, just don't go hard. Okay, and here you go. Look, this is the wire you put it in. Yeah, you hear the click. It's all set, and this is the the two bad sensor. So the new one come brown, doesn't matter. It's the same sensor, same part number, okay? Basically, this is your problem right here. All right, this vehicle all set. We'll fix the problem. We're gonna start it up. There you go. It's brand new again. And uh, screwdriver. 24, that's it. And I already changed the oil. Uh, the oil already clean. The dipstick back, okay. Okay, please uh, follow, subscribe my channel, I can help. I'm a technician, I'm just doing this for fun and helping families to save a lot of money. So basically, this job is cost a lot of money at the dealer or even at the gas station. So I do all the foreign cars. This is it's simple. Uh, just make sure you change oil on time. See, now it's run smooth. If you have this issue, first of all, change the oil. By the way, if your oil bath, change the oil, drive it, clear the light. If the light doesn't go away, replace two sensors. Save all the headache and save a lot of money, save the engine, save your vehicle. Leave a comment down below if you have any question, I will answer you.